Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third of exercise 13.2. And this question says, Rahman is making a wheel using spokes. He wants to fix equal spokes in such a way that the angle between any pair of consecutive spokes are equal. You have to help him by completing the following table. Means, in this case, Rahman is making a wheel using equal spokes. So in the first case, he is he's using four spokes. Means, if this is the center, these will be four spokes he would be using. And this is such a way that the angle between any two consecutive spokes is equal. Means, all these four angles are equal. So you have to find the angle between the pair of consecutive spokes. So because we know that the angle on any point, if I consider this complete angle, so this will be equals to 360 degrees. And these all angles are equal means if this is x, this is x, this is x and this is also x. So clearly all four angles are equal and the sum of all angles is 360. So this will be x plus x plus x plus x will be 4x and this will be 360 degrees. So the value of x will be 360 divided by 4. So this will be 90 degrees. Or you can say because these are 4 angles, so we can divide this by 4 to get this angle which is equal to 90 degrees. So this is how this first angle is found. Now the number of spokes are 6. So, if this is the wheel and this is the center and if these are 3 and again these are 6 spokes and again the, all the angles between two consecutive spokes are equal means all these 6 angles are equal. So, we can say that the 6x will be equal to 360. And the value of x here will be 360 upon 6, which is 60 degrees. So this is how the second theta is found. Now similarly, now the number of spokes are 8. So clearly the number of angles will be 8. And the sum of all the angles are 360. To find one angle, you have to divide 360 by 8. So dividing 360 by 8, the answer will be 3, 4 times and 3, 5 times. So this will be 45 degrees. Now the number of spokes are 10. So clearly the number of angles will be 10. Now to find the one angle, what you have to do is, you have to divide 360 by 10. So 0 can be cancelled with 0. So this will be 36 degrees. And now at the last, the number of spokes are 12. And so clearly the number of angles will be 12. And you have to find the angle between any two uh, consecutive spokes. So now you have to divide 360 by 12. So this is 3 times and 60. So the angle here will be 30 degrees. So this is how you can solve this first question. Similarly, uh, the remaining three parts can be solved in the same way. In the next video, I'll explain you how those parts can be solved.